Hello, uh, my name is John for Through the Eyes of George, and today I'd like to talk to you about the bills and the laws passed uh, under George Washington's presidency. To find out more about George Washington and his presidency, I suggest reading Harlow Giles Unger's Mr. President. This is a fantastic overview on George Washington's presidency. And don't forget to check out my website, potus1.com. That's uh, P O T U S, the number one, dot com. Or check out my book, Through the Eyes of George, or my YouTube channel, Through the Eyes of George, uh, on YouTube. And uh, all of my sources for this video, I'm going to put in the description below. And um, I will go through these bills and these uh, laws and the date in which they are passed. And so let's get started. George Washington became president on April 30th, 1789. Uh, POTUS one, President of the United States, number one. On June 1st, uh, 1789, the first bill ever passed by George Washington, the time and manner administrating... Uh, certain oaths was passed. On July 4th, 1789, a Tariff Act was signed into law. On September 25th, 1789, the Bill of Rights was given to the states and it was effective December 15th, 1791. The first naturalization law was, was passed on March 26th, 1790, which established the terms of citizenship and the citizenship and naturalization uh, laws of George Washington's time were way different um, than they were today. But George Washington would agree with at least some kind of assimilation and naturalization. Um, beyond that, I don't know what that would look like in today, but he would agree with some kind of border security, maybe some kind of assimilation or citizenship test or something like that. I don't know what that would look like today if George Washington were here. On uh, May 31st, 1790, a copyright law was signed into order on uh, July uh, 16th, 1790, um, a law passing, uh, a law passed which established the capital of the United States uh, being along the Potomac River, which would later become known as the District of uh, Washington, D.C., the District of Columbia. On August 4th, 1790, the United States government assumed all the Revolutionary War debt from the states. And then on February 25th, 1791, the National Bank of the United States was signed into law. On March 3rd, 1791, the first Revenue Act was signed, a tax on distilled spirits, which I guess uh, formally is called the Whiskey Tax, which would later result in the Whiskey Rebellion. On May uh, 8th, 1792, the Militia Act was signed into law. There is another one later down the road. February 12th, 1792, the Fugitive uh, Slave Act was signed um, into law, which would later be rescinded and superseded by the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery entirely. On April 22nd, 1793, the uh, Neutrality Acts was signed, and George Washington is very much known for this because he wanted to remain neutral in uh, foreign affairs, as is stated in his farewell address. And I don't think George Washington would want to be as involved in the globalization of the world today, but he'd have to uh, most likely get over that in some kind of way because this is a very global world in 2020. In uh, March 22nd, 1794, the Slave Trade Act uh, was signed, uh, March 22nd, 1794. And what that Slave Trade Act did is it severely limited the United States' involvement in the international slave trade. The moratorium, um, which uh, uh, ended on, uh, in uh, 1808, which took us completely out of the international slave trade. There was a growing resentment for um, slavery in even in George Washington's time. 
in uh, March 27th, 1794, the Naval Act was signed, which basically established the Navy. The uh, Jay Treaty was signed into law on November 19th, 1794. There's a lot of talk over the negotiations of this, and George Washington gave a response to Congress about not giving personal papers over the Jay Treaty in 1796. Um, the last thing I'll talk about is the Treaty of San Lorenzo, which was established in uh, October 27, 1795. And uh, many states uh, got their statehood during, during George Washington's presidency. And just to name a few, um, we have uh, North Carolina on November 21st, uh, 1789. We have Rhode Island on uh, May 29th. 1790. We have Vermont on March 4th, 1791. We have Kentucky on uh, June 1st of 1792. And something close to my heart, Tennessee uh, uh, on um, June 1st, 1796. Rocky Top was got its statehood. So thank you for watching this video, and as always, don't forget to look in the description below for all of my sources. Thank you for watching this, and uh, looking forward to the next one. Uh, you're the best. Peace.